guys, it's Sam. So today I thought I would do a get ready with me, like a chit chat, because you guys have been asking for it and I want to do what you're asking for because here's the ones you watch my videos, right? I'm trying out a bunch of new products today that I have just been kind of like wanting to try out and then I haven't. So I figured I would use that as well, seeing as I am my pale self. Um, so yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep on watching to see how I got this look. Okay, so the very first thing that I have been using is the Shiseido Pureness Mattifying Moisturizer Oil Free. I used this for a super duper long time and then I stopped for some reason and then I was like, hey, why'd you stop? I liked it. So um, it's really nice because it's mattifying, but it's a moisturizer and it also kind of acts like a primer. Poo. What's this mess? And this? Rubbish. I've been using a new foundation lately. It's the Paru de Lumiere. I don't know how to say it. It's by Guerlain. I got it from Glambot. And it is in the color 02 Beige Claire. It's a light diffusing foundation with sunscreen, moisture infusion. Which normally I would be like, oh gosh, I'm so nervous about that. But for some reason, it's actually not too bad. I mean, I still get oily, but honestly, I get oily with everything. So, I don't know. But this is a really nice foundation. Um, it's kind of got like a medium coverage. It looks very kind of like uh, skin-like on the skin. It's super easy to blend. Like, it's just one of those foundations that... If you don't have a lot of time and you're just kind of like wanting to throw something on, it's nice because you don't have to work that hard at it. Okay, now that my foundation's on, I'm going to take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. I'm almost out of this. Can you believe it? Can you believe I have finished up almost? I still have quite... I mean, it's kind of hard to tell in here. I mean, it feels like I'm almost running out, but who knows? I could have tons left. But, um, I can't believe that, like, I've used it for every day consistently for a very long time now. And I just love it. I will say, it does look better, um, when I do have a bit of a tan. Because I feel like it gives you, like, that much more of, like, a brightening, like, Kim Kardashian effect. But, that's okay. Okay, I'm going to take my damp beauty blender. And I'm just going to pat that out. You know, I feel like this is my favorite part of, like, putting my makeup on. Because it's so cool. And it feels like a cucumber. <laughs> a soft, bouncy cucumber. It's, like, so refreshing, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. I thought that was a cat. And I was like, why is my bed lumpy? That's weird. Okay, next I'm taking my NARS, um, radi What is it? Light Reflecting Setting Powder. And my Stila number... N nine brush i love this brush it's so loose and flowy yet small so you can fit it like right in the crevices you need but it's like super fluffy oh amazing absolutely love this brush and you guys know i love my sigma brushes but they just don't have a brush in my opinion that comes close to this as far as what i use it for so i love this powder because it kind of fills in my pores and makes them look like they don't exist. It also kind of blurs out your wrinkles. When I worked at Clarins, they have this product called um, the Instant Smooth, and I remember like one of the things that I had to do to actually get the job was I had to go around and um, ask people, it was so awkward, like this was what I did for my interview. I had to go around Macy's and say, would you like to try our magic in a jar? It was like so cheesy. And uh, it's tough. I mean, people are like, don't touch me with your magic in a jar. Okay, that's just creepy. And this lady, she's so sweet, a little Hawaiian lady. And she's like, oh, yes. <laughs> and uh, so I got to try it on her. And she like loved it. And she came back and had a makeover. And it was just like amazing. It was like, one of those things where you just never expect it to happen on an interview, like, oh my god, thank you so much for helping me, you know? And I got the job, and I absolutely hated the job, but I got the job, and it was from the magic in a jar. But where I was going with this story, sorry, I kind of got off track, um, was that it worked amazingly at filling in pores and wrinkles, and at the time, I never used it because I didn't need it. I didn't have any wrinkles, so it was young. And I think I might try and see if I can pick up a sample, because it's quite expensive and I don't want to waste, you know, a whole big thing of it. But I think I might go and get a sample because, you know what? These wrinkles are just not acceptable. 
And I know people say like, oh, you know, you should try Botox and that's cool and everybody likes it, but I'm just so nervous. Like knowing me and my look, I'd have an allergic reaction or something and I'd get these crazy like psychopathic weird things on my head or something. I don't know, I'm just too nervous. I'm so nervous about like injecting things in my skin. I'm using my Becca Mineral Bronzing Powder. I went back to using my MAC for a little while and I started breaking out on my cheeks. So, no more MAC. Or as far as like the bronzer goes, it's weird because the blush seems to be okay for me. It's just the, the kind of mineralized face powders that I have a problem with on my cheeks. I don't know why, it's so it's like so weird because you'd think the, ch the blushes would be the same, but it's not. It's not at all. For my blush today, speaking of MAC, I'm gonna use my Petal Power Mineralized Blush with my Sigma F10 powder brush blush. I can't talk. Oh, I forgot how amazing that blush is. Look at that. It gives you the prettiest golden glow. Why do I not use it more? Okay, for my highlight, I'm gonna use something new, and you know it's funny because I just did that collab with Melissa at Mel and PHS, and she featured this, and I have had it for like a couple of months now, and I've I keep on meaning to use it and then I forget, but this is the Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination Facial Cream. She said it was like one of her favorite highlights, and I'm gonna try it out because I haven't yet. So, ooh, it's very golden. It's liquid. Wow, that's intense. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit on my beauty blender. Wow, it looks really like golden. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is. This is gonna be really, she said it was like awesome for the summer. And I can see why, because it gives you this really beautiful like golden, like goddess sitting in the sun just baking and you're a little bit sweaty and you're just like sipping on a pina colada even though I don't like pina, colo pina coladas can't even say it right oh that is a beautiful highlight look at that glow can you guys see it oh don't mind me just call me Sam glow all right Sam low s low I'm, so, I'm talking about JLo right now. <laughs> That's not a good joke. Okay, yeah, I love that. That's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It just lights up your face and gives you this dewiness. Okay, I'm gonna prime my eyes with my MAC Paint and Bare Canvas. It's slowly diminishing and it's on its last day, but I'm still squirting tiny little bits out of it. Okay, for my eyebrows, I'm gonna use my Maybelline. Ooh, I'm all wet for my wipe. Maybelline Define a Brow in medium brown, and my hands are wet, so I cannot. Ah, oh, pooey. I can't screw, screw it up. Okay, I got it. I don't know what's going on with my eyebrows anymore. I give up on them. I'm like, I'm having a, a midlife eyebrow crisis. Like one day I'll do them, and I'm like, yeah, that looks good. And then the next day I do this and I'm like, oh, you, your arch is off. What were you thinking? It's weird because I always used to be able to do them exactly the same, but I don't know. I think my eyes are getting worse and I can't see as well. And I'm too stubborn to bring the mirror closer to me. So on my eyes today, I'm trying some new stuff out. So my friend sells Unique and um, she was telling me about it and she was telling me how this like, one of the ladies makes like tons of money selling it and I was like, what? So and I was like, she's like, well, I have some stuff that I'll let you try out if you want to and uh, you can see how you like it and then if you want to sell it, then you can sell it and if not, then you can at least try the stuff out. So she gave me or let me borrow a kit of like all these amazing pigments. So they have like matte pigments. Like I didn't even know, I thought Unique was just mascara. But anyway, so I'm going to try the... The, and they have matte pigments and then shimmery pigments. So I'm going to try the Mood Struck Minerals Pigment Matte. And the color is called Beautiful. Now the only thing that I will say is they come with these little like doodads. Which I think that you can take them out. But see it has like the little stopper. Which makes it kind of annoying to get the stuff out. Because you have to tap it. And I just feel like it takes a little bit more time than usual. Um, but she said that she just takes off that little stopper lid. So 
Just put a little bit of extra. I haven't tried the matte ones out yet, but the shimmer ones are amazing. They're like so pigmented. I just was like really impressed. I was expecting them to be not the best quality, to be honest. I don't know, you just never think of like, I don't know. I don't know why I thought that, but I did. Okay, on my lid, I'm gonna take the, it's called Sexy, and this is a shimmer one. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this, oh wow, that's really pretty. Wow, you can see how pigmented that is. It's just like instant shimmer to your eye. And she said that there's like a primer. I didn't get the primer. Um, but she said that there's like a primer. It like makes the pigments like that much more intense. But honestly, these are pigmented just by themselves, like plenty. Like I, you know, I just have my regular primer on and I think they're very pigmented and they're really silky smooth too. Okay, the next color I'm gonna take is called Curious. I'm gonna take this um, with a Sigma E54. I'm just gonna put that right on my brow bone. And then right in my inner corner as well, just over what I already put down. Then I'm gonna try out this um, called Provoke. It looks like a slightly warmer, kind of reddish tan. Kind of like a terracotta almost. Oh, I like that color. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. And then I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm just gonna take whatever's left on my brush and just kind of place it underneath. Okay, next I'm gonna take my Fabu Liner Liquid Liner. I don't know if I'm in focus here. I cannot tell. I hope I am. Um, I love this stuff. It's amazing and it's like super affordable. I need to get closer for this. And I'm just gonna curl my lashes. Then I'm gonna use my Maybelline XXL Pro. And this is something that I used to use forever. If you guys have watched me for a while, you'll know. And then I could never find it again. And I had um, one of my amazing subscribers offered to send it. And then I had a subscriber send me one. She said that she had found it in her store. And uh, the thing about this mascara is when you first use it, like when you first get it out of the brand new box, it doesn't work quite as well. It's almost like it needs to dry a little bit for it to like get its full like oof, you know? And so I put it away in the drawer for it to dry out a little bit and then I forgot about it. I was looking for a mascara for my sister and I found it. And I was like, oh yes, I'm gonna try that out now. Now it's working amazing. So what I do is I do two coats of white and two coats of black, but in between I let them, I give them a good waft. And that's the key, is to give them a good waft. And it really gives you this amazing like false lash look, but you wanna make sure that they're dry in between the coats because otherwise it just doesn't give you such an, a, like a dramatic effect. But it's, pretty good stuff, but the problem is, is that it's been discontinued. Don't get it on the inside of your eye, it will burn. Okay, so you can see how it kind of like fluffs them all out, and you look like an ice queen. You have your black side. So after that's like wafted a bit, actually in the meantime, I'll do my lips. So on my lips, I'm gonna take my Marvelous Moxie Lip Liner in Thrilled. This is by Bare Minerals. This is a great lip liner. So that's enough time. So now you can go, you don't want to do it too long because if you go too long, then it gets too dry and then you just get flaky. So you have to find like the perfect balance, but usually I find that it's just enough time to put your lip liner on if you're like pretty quick and then you'll be good. But yeah, if you can find this mascara, do it. 
and I also like to bend the wand so what you do is you stick your thing in and then you just get to the edge and then you go dink and you bend it I learned that from Black Lab Lover 9 do any of you guys still watch her? oh my god I used to love her not that I don't love her anymore but I just don't watch that many people anymore but before I had kids I used to watch her all the time with her little dog Pete she is a sweetheart that girl oh my gosh she was one of the people that like if I could meet anybody on YouTube I would love to meet her because she just seems so warm and loving and like one of those girls that you can just call up anytime and be like oh my gosh I need advice or oh my gosh I just need a friend and I do two coats of that so the second coat is when I'll get the tops because of you you're using white you want to make sure that you're getting the tops of them so that when you look down you're not going to have these crazy like dandruff looking things on your eyeballs okay so there's my lashes whoa baby right then I'm going to take the M. Michelle Fawn water liner in bronze kiss and I'm just going to take a little bit of that just right on my bottom lashes Okay, for my lips, I'm going to use um, Gerard Cosmetics. I just literally have this box that's been sitting here waiting for me of all these lipsticks and lip glosses from them. And uh, I've been meaning to do lip swatches and I keep forgetting. If you guys want me to do one of like every single lip swatch, just let me know and I'd love to do it for you. And I've actually had this for a long time and I've used it a few times and I really like the color. It's just a really gorgeous nude. But how cute is the packaging? It's like this fabulous... Uh little gold bullet oh, I got stuck in my Invisalign it's like that awkward moment when you're smiling and then you try to like stop smiling but your lip is stuck on your Invisalign and you're like <laughs> like it's probably gonna happen now so how fabulous is that lipstick? I love it. This is the color Shimmer of Hope. This is Gerard Cosmetics as well. And it has a little light, so you can really see what you're doing. Oh god, that's gorgeous. That's like such a beautiful nude. They actually have like a nice thinner formula. I was expecting them to be thicker and uh, stickier, but they're not sticky at all. That's a little packaging cute oh I love that color it's so beautiful <gasps> and it's already on my Invisalign crud yes I'm really impressed with those pigments I think they've really turned out nice love the lip love the highlight oh I just love trying out new products don't you it's so fun so yes there is the finished look I hope you guys enjoy I haven't done a kind of chit chat get ready with me for so long and so I hope that you guys um, liked it please give me a thumbs up if you do want me to do more of these I used to do them all the time and then I stopped just because they take so much longer than like a normal video and I'm always kind of rushed for time but if you guys do want more of them then please let me know I'd love to I really want this year to be about what you guys want to see on my channel so please let me know what you want to see more of um, and comment, leave a comment so that I know. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you do like these and you want me to do more of them. Um, they're really fun and it's kind of nice to kind of, I don't know, try, it's like a mini review for each product that you're using. You know what I mean? I just feel like there's so much more like personable maybe. I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new and don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and my blog samshroom.com. On Monday nights I'm going to be tweeting about The Bachelor so be sure to follow me on Twitter because if you're a Bachelor lover, I am too. And we can be friends, okay? Bye!